Buddy Check 10 is our station's new breast cancer awareness program in partnership with BayCare Health System. Each participating viewer will get free self-breast exam packets and will also email newsletters and send text messages to remind women to do their exam on the 10th of each month. And all of this is to emphasize the importance of early detection. You hear about this all the time and new technology has also played an important part in the diagnosis and treatment of breast cancer. And Morton Plant Hospital is making a big difference in the Bay Area. Here with us now is is Dr. Peter Blumenkranz, a surgical oncologist and medical director of Morton Plant Comprehensive Breast Program. Hello, doctor. Good morning. Hey, and you were giving us uh, some in interesting information about the actual, the literal translation of your last name, Blumenkranz. Uh, what, what is that exactly? <laughs> Tell us about it's that. It's German. Uh, the Kranz is a crown and Blumen is flower, so a floral wreath, like a vicar might wear. There you go. Very cool. So. Nice little trivia there for you about Dr. Blumenkrantz. Um, let's talk a little bit about Morton Plant Hospital and what right. this specific breast pr program offers um, and why you all developed it. Uh, we started doing this many years ago. Obviously, breast cancer is a big problem uh, and high volume, so it needed a lot of attention. Uh, we have the Susan Cheek Needler Breast Diagnostic Center, which is a part of our comprehensive breast program. And this is a diagnostic center, not for a screening mammogram, but for those who have a problem mammogram or suspicion of cancer. And this has come a long way in just the last few years and that it used to take, I think almost, and not too long ago, it used to take a couple of months from between the time you went in and then when you got the results back, now it's just a matter of a day or two, isn't it? Yeah, this is the beauty of having this kind of one-stop shop. Uh, screening mammograms are one thing and many places will do mammograms, but more of a factory output. You get a mammogram, you go home, you get a call later, but what happens once you find out there's an abnormality? Our goal is to get patients in a very friendly, user-friendly environment. Environment. Uh, obviously mostly women, so it's got a feminine side to it and decor, but the idea is that you'll get a diagnostic workup with the radiologist being there, a breast imaging specialist mm -hmm. who will speak to you, examine you, and we have all of the different diagnostic tools for biopsy. Uh, the additional point is we get turnaround time within about 24 to 40 hours, so you'll have an answer quickly. We can't do it same day, but we can get it very quickly. That's so nice that you're immediately speaking with somebody who can walk you through all of the, uh, not only your diagnosis, but what it means and so forth, because that is such a scary point right there where you find that out, you get that information. Absolutely. Everybody comes in wired. <laughs> whether whether you're diagnosed with cancer yet or not, just even being told your screening mammogram shows an abnormality, you're going to be nervous. We understand that. We actually have a nurse navigator who is a certified navigator to help patients through the process mm -hmm. to make it more comfortable. There are counseling resources if you're diagnosed with breast cancer and someone who actually takes you through all the steps of surgery to medical oncology to radiation oncology. But it starts with a good diagnosis up front. In this country right now, there probably is still about a third of all biopsies to prove whether there's cancer are being done with an open surgical biopsy and this doesn't need to be done. Almost all of the early breast cancers can be detected now by a needle biopsy with some type of imaging technique, which is what we specialize in. And what are the actual percentages now? If, if it's caught early, I know it's, uh, if you, if you catch it early and you treat it and uh, it, it's over a 90% survival rate or cure oh, rate. Yeah. Is it, what is it now? C caught early, over 95%. 95%. Um, most patients caught early will be survivors, long-term survivors. And that's the beauty. We have more breast cancer patients now than ever. Uh, partly that's because, guess what? Baby boomers. We're all talking about the baby boomers. Mm -hmm. Well, breast cancer is primarily a disease of women over 55 not young women. Of all the breast cancers, probably maybe one out of eight women under 45, that is cancers are diagnosed, whereas two-thirds of the breast cancers are in women over 55. But so you, you can't catch it early unless you go in and get checked. You've got to get, you have to get checked. Yeah. And that's part of the, the program that we're offering here through Buddy Check 10 is to make sure that you do those things to make sure that women are doing their, their self-exams. How important is that self-exam as a first step? It's always a good idea, and, and I don't want women to ever feel that they they must diagnose their cancer, that's not their role. Mm -hmm. But self-awareness is important. Sometimes even between your annual mammograms, you might develop a lump. Or can a cancer occur that doesn't appear on imaging? Yes, mammograms will detect about 90% of breast cancer, but not 100%. But it's better to err on the side of caution if, uh, you know, you feel a lump. What do you have to lose just by getting checked Absolutely. out, right? If you detect a persistent lump, nodularity, some area of firmness, you're just not sure, better to speak with your primary care physician, your gynecologist, at least go in and get somebody to check you out. You know, a lot of times I think patients uh, equate new technology
technology with expensive, but a lot of what you're, we're dealing with here for the most part is covered by almost every most or, uh, major insurance plan. Absolutely. Insurance covers these things, and in fact, these very new techniques for doing biopsies don't require open surgery. There's minimal invasion through a little three millimeter needle track, no mm -hmm. scar to speak of at all. Uh, you can do this, drive yourself, have the biopsy, and go home right away. No downtime from work. And we can do this under uh, ultrasound guidance. There's something called Stereotactic, which is a digital computer guided needle biopsy. And something we offer that's pretty unique is even under MRI, which you've probably heard about, although that's not a screening tool, sometimes it turns up things you can't find any other way. And we can also do MRI guided biopsies, which is quite unique. What do you say to, to women? You, you know, you, maybe they, they find a lump and maybe there is something to that. And uh, before you really find out what's what, how do you put yourself in a, in a calm state of mind? You were saying a lot of times, uh, you know, they'll come yeah. in just absolutely wired and, and it's uh, certainly understandable. But how do you get to that calm place before you really know what you need to do? Realistically, you probably don't. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm saying that in all fairness, yeah. you can't expect folks to just blow this off, like don't worry about it. But if you catch it early, if you haven't neglected yourself, the overwhelming odds are that it's going to be caught early and it's very treatable and highly curable. And well, that's the important message. We want to make sure that everybody knows how to get in touch with, uh, with the uh, program that we are talking about today with the Buddy Check 10, how you can be a part of that. You can go to WTSP.com and you can sign up there for your free self-breast exam packet and your monthly reminders. And again, those are going to be text messages and they're going to let you know that you need to do this on the 10th of every month. We're picking the 10th because we're Channel 10. It's not that the 10th is going to reveal anything better than any other day of the month. So if you miss it, don't worry. You can do it the next day. But uh, again, this is just going to be when your reminders come through. And uh, you saw all the information there also uh, to check in and learn more about Morton Plant Hospital and what they offer there. Thank you so much, doctor. Very welcome. So just remember the 10th. That was yesterday. Yeah. The 10th. Channel 10, Studio 10. But you can still do it today. You can. You can. <laughs> it's a Loud. Coming up next, red, white, and red and white balloons will light up the streets of Tampa over the next few weeks for Light the Night. We'll have details when Studio 10 returns. This segment was sponsored by Bay Care Health System.